Hey YouTube world, it's Brian from Resale CMI. I did a quick little buy this morning. As you can see, some of the stuff surrounding me right now. Paul found it on, what'd you find it on? Craigslist. Craigslist. Um, ended up spending $1,100. Uh, fella just up the road came down at 8.30 this morning. Uh, he wanted 15, so the lowest he go was 12. After looking over, Paul asked for 1,000. Met at the middle at 1,100. Um, we don't think it's like the greatest deal in the world, but I think we'll make, we can list all this in about a day and a half yeah. or so, and we'll probably make five to $600 a piece after cost of goods, fees, and you know, maybe a little bit less with taxes coming out at the end of the year or whatnot. Um, we'll kind of go over everything real quick and then I'll let Paul talk about some of the stuff a little bit. Every day Paul comes over to do some work. This is what we got going on. We get full blown. Believe it or not, that's playing. <laughs> Luna's perfectly fine doing a little uh, dog jujitsu from the bottom. That's how she uh, handles him being bigger. But yeah, here's Paul. He's going to go over this stuff a little bit. All right, guys. One of my favorite things to surface Craigslist for sourcing. We like to buy collections. This wasn't even labeled as a collection. I just looked up some slot cars. We bought previous collections of slot cars. This happened to be really local. And the guy, when I called him, I love Craigslist because they leave a phone number and I just call him right up. So I call the guy, he answers. He's local and he actually delivered it to Ryan's house this morning. So 8.30 in the morning, he met us here. That saved me 20 bucks right there. Exactly. And we didn't, it was unloaded. He helped us unload it in the garage. It was almost delivered that well. And uh, so I'll go over to this stuff a little bit. It was Carrera. This is all stuff three years old or newer. I'd say he just set it up. This guy took super good care of his stuff. This stuff's clean. Um, he obviously had a huge layout. This was all laid out. He cleaned them all off, put them back in. But these are O-gauge, uh, 132nd scale. They're for trains. They're obviously for model railroad stuff. He put this on his layout, so he had a Quaker, Quaker stick and State. lube. There's a couple of... Uh... There's... Oh, trees, trees, woodland scenery. This, this one is one of the ones that we saw had an issue. These little girls. He didn't even show there. that on pictures, so I'm pretty this excited. This is extra building. Yeah, yeah, he said there's a couple. The extra. girls there are broken off uh, at the ankle. Um, but yeah, it's the building's still good and stuff. I I did comp this one. This one sold 135 dollars recently. This isn't brand new. I I comp new ones, but this one actually. He did some custom work and added some die cast and stuff to it, so it, it might even have helped its value for someone else that's putting it in a layout. Yeah, he, I'm not, not sure. Not only did he take care of it, but all this stuff has its original boxes. Might have just hold up a couple of them. Yeah, these are all, uh, I haven't comped a lot of this stuff, guys, but these are all track sets that he bought. All these little boxes are different. Some of them are the same, a lot of them are different. There's little uh, race things here. I'll let Ryan get to them later, but. There they are. They're all just hunks of track. And he said he cleaned them all and put them away exactly how they're supposed to be there in these boxes. I was trying to pull comps on some of these were 30, 80 bucks a box. And like just these clips alone, I've sold a lot of these for like 35 bucks or something. I want to say there was like 40. I mean, clearly there's like, there's got to be 80 to 100 clips in there. So here's another. Uh, this is for the guardrails right here. There's another building here. Obviously, this is MTH, Railtown building. This is a railway station. There's a lot of glare. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah, right there is good. And then here's another uh, old gauge building. We'll obviously list loose, separate. They all sell. People buy that stuff. They're always making layouts and. We'll stuff get like back that. to the rest of the track. I want to show some of the bigger things now. So you come over here. We got three of these large sets here so this one here where's the numbers on this one the numbers are right here this is career it's 230 196 it's a limited edition set i couldn't find this one this one actually intrigued me because it has a red bull car and i think that's highly collectible in my thinking i don't know it might not be and he so put all know. these sets back together 100 percent perfectly and uh i mean he was literally cleaning them with q-tips and stuff like that so this stuff he said Besides that building where you saw the broken leg girls there, he said uh, that the, uh, the, I asked him, what's the worst shaped condition car that we have here? And one of these sets, he said, the tires are a little bit bald on them. So he said it was like, what, $12 to replace the tires? So, so here's a bigger set here. It's this Young Timer a, Showdown, it says. Yeah, this is a 124 scale here, guys. These are 132nd, I can tell by that. These cars are larger, yeah. so I know they're 124 scale, but that's another out, set there. 
And these obviously intermingle. These cars can race Where's on the same the track. Where's the number on this one? Oh, it's gonna be right here. This is 223626. And all when Carrera bit. made these, they made limited edition runs of each one and they sold out every year. So you're not gonna find this one again unless I find a comp for it. But you're not gonna find it new. Move this one over to the yep. stove so it shines a little bit different. There's, there's another the 30 one second scale one. It looks like a piece of tracks falling down over the car, sir. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like it's touching it though, so we should be good. This is two zero zero three zero zero one nine Grand Victory Lane on that one. So we had these three sets, so six cars in there, and then we had another seven cars over here. And these are all like minty condition. I don't even think these no, were ever he's even some of these with. he never even used. So we got a the Corvette C seven R right there. We got here a Ford GT race car number 66. Sorry about all the glare. This is kind of an impromptu video. We got that a pretty rare, Ferrari SF70H. We got a Chevy Camaro State Trooper car there. I think he said this was a, a good one too, yeah, didn't yeah. he? It was over 100 bucks. Yeah, Chevy uh, Cheval SS454 Super Stalker 2. Ford Torino, Talladega number 48. And then we got this uh, Plymouth Superbird here, the giant spoiler on the back, number 14. Now when we were looking at these cars, what, what, would, you, what would you say they saying, averaged out at for seven of those cars? I would, I would put them at 70 bucks a piece on an average of seven. So we'll say 60 to 70 right there. Even Somewhere if they were 140, this is 150, I bet. Really? Yeah. So they average 70 bucks, that's $490 right there, right? right? So 400 bucks, let's say right there. Mind you, we spent 700. On these, we we're approximating selling them. 350, I was gonna. Three to 350, we have to do piece. more research, but we're just putting like generic numbers in our head when we're trying to do big deals. Like when there's a lot of items like this. It's hard when you're dealing with, a, you're on spot with a pile of stuff with two backs of trucks and you're trying to comp this stuff and you're not trying to throw too low of a ball of value just because you want future business with these people that do these collections. So yeah, he's local and I mean, a bunch this of stuff was so well taken stuff. care of that that's what almost made me buy because the way he took care of the stuff, even Ryan seen it was like well taken care of. Obviously you can see it here. Who builds a layout, keeps the boxes and put cleans it and puts it all back in when they're done. No, and there's individual pieces that we're seeing like 120. This, yeah, I just looked it up. It looked like a lot of them were selling pre-owned for like 70 or 80, but this is like mint, so you could probably right, find a two heavy of them. medium. It's two of them right there. So let's just say 150 to 200 dollars just in those two boxes. I think that's like 50, 60 dollars pre-owned. What you got there? I don't even know. This is a digital counter. Oh yeah, oh it keeps the lap times and stuff. Yeah, you said some of this stuff was rare that they don't make anymore. Yeah, I mean there's just all sorts of pieces of track. Um, yeah, so six pieces in there. And then there's, yeah, there's multiples of some of these so it should be nice and easy. Obviously we're gonna have to open the boxes and double check yeah. and make sure. But Even multiples. just those small boxes can probably be $15, $20 a piece. And then, I don't know how much track we have here in total, but I mean, there's a lot of individual listings here. And then I think there's just some billboards right there, right? Yeah, those are all custom billboards for a racetrack, but yeah. those sell. Oh yeah. No, I think we'll do pretty good. I don't think we'll make... You guys let us know how you think we did. We spent 1100 bucks. I'm not nervous. I'm not going to lose money, but would you guys have done it? That's the question. All right. Yeah. Another thing I just wanted to point out with these big giant sets like this, I bought these used that weren't in nearly as good a condition. Take them out, clean them up a little bit. You can always part these out. Me and my daughter bought a similar type one that had a couple cars in it and then a couple cars on the side. I think we paid like 40 or $50 for it. And then once I got into it, there was like one broken piece here, a missing piece of the guardrail, so it wasn't complete. So I just took all the clips, sold those separately, all the guardrail pieces, sold that separately, the cars separately. You know, you put six 
uh, angled pieces of track that are the same and sell them for $24.99. Put the straight track together, sell that for $30 bucks for a quantity of six. You could take one of these out and part it out into like eight, ten listings minimum. So just keep that in mind. When you're, they don't always have to be complete sets when it comes to this stuff. Um, when Paul came to me with this deal, how we like to look at it is if we can spend a day or two, get it all listed and make four or $500 a piece, that's where we're, we're not going to kill it with this deal. It's not a garage sale where we could pick up all this, you know, individual piece like this, get for 10 bucks or something like that at a garage sale. When you deal with these big collections, you want to just get massive quantity, get a good dollar amount, something where you can jam it out pretty quick. These are going to be easy listers, easy to look up, a uh, little bit difficult to ship with these ones and right. store because of the size, but we're going to jam this out. We're going to get this all listed within a day and a half, two and days. The, and the thing you guys don't see about it, besides the money, is this draws a lot of people to your store. Yeah. A whole bunch of slack car people to this YouTube page to this we're making right now. Slack car people will be watching things, this. Yeah. So it's cool to have collections like this. Our last store, we had 500 and some followers in under a year. So we're going to build this one up just like it. Well, and if we can do it all in, in two days and then ship it periodically after that and make five, $600 a piece, why wouldn't you do that? And it could be more. Yeah. And then, yeah, that, that's lowballing it. Like, we're not worried about our $1,100. We're going to make twenty three to 2500 minimum. And I, if I had to guess, that's just what I'll do. I'll keep track of it in a book mm -hmm. separately, the sales from this. I'm gonna guess that it's more like 3,400 to 3,600. Right. What would you say? Yeah, I'm gonna say three grand. Three grand? Mm -hmm. So I'll keep track of it in a book and I'll do a little YouTube short about it or something. But we just wanted to show you guys this Carrera stuff. Um, I know some of you have picked it up before and done pretty good with it. Let us know what you think. Um, anything else you wanna put? No, guys, thanks for sticking around with us and uh, hope you guys uh, like this video. Yeah, it's our first sur sourcing video in a while for you guys. So. Yeah, let us know how we did. Thanks, you guys. Say Resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.